right, what's up guys? Today I got another collection video. We took a break last week. We did some of uh, my favorite items, my least favorite items. Now we're gonna get back into the collection um, pickup video, I mean collection videos since this is the off season of Supreme. In store starts next week, online the following week. So I'm gonna do my t-shirt collection. This is the big one. I probably have the most t-shirts out of anything. Decks were close around 70, but these are pretty, I think there's around like 80 t-shirts I have. So I'm just gonna try to go through them, try not to make this video 40 minutes like the deck video. Um, let's go through them, show, tell, talk a little bit about them, and show them off, and uh, let's get right into it. All right, first up, guys, this is a little bit, these are completely out of order. They're pretty much all black, mostly, but um, first up, Supreme Hypnotized Minds collaboration. This was early, uh, I can't remember, this might have been like 2012 or something that, when this came out. Hypnotized Minds, old 36 Mafia kind of record label. Next up, uh, Black Sabbath collaboration, one of my favorite collaborations they've done. Like I've said, Black Sabbath is my favorite rock band and uh, Nas is my favorite rapper. So they did both those collaborations. Real happy they did that. Didn't get the Nas T though. It was a little bit hard to get. This one, of course, is Ozzy on the front. Little video grab and nothing on the back on that one. Another Black Sabbath one, War Pigs, one of their like most famous songs. On the back, this one says Black Sabbath with Supreme under it. And then anti-establishment T, anti-establishment in that kind of like old English looking font. And then a cop car turned over. I don't remember where this was. I remember asking a while ago. I think this was during some riot in Harlem, maybe. It's gonna be a back graphic, Supreme right there. And on the back, some uh, back anal. Even though I don't think that's how it's pronounced. Basically it means like kind of like partying and being like wild like that stuff. Love the whole Renaissance air kind of artwork. So I definitely had to grab this one, but I still think, you know, people will be like, it's not back anal. But I still think, think Supreme did this on purpose. This one is the Basquiat, kind of photo-ish portrait tee. I think this was around 2013. Huge portrait of Basquiat, Basquiat on the front and a little Supreme logo on the back. From the first Supreme Undercover collaboration, the kind of sync, I think it was, what was it? synthesizer on his head, Supreme below it, red guy right there. And then we got a KR set one with a little, was it like a Mac 10 or Uzi or something like that? Looking out the window, classic shirt, Supreme on the front, so you know it's a back graphic. And then we got, boom, ET on the back. Also got the skateboard from that one. Classic movie, if you haven't seen it, it's one of those movies you just gotta at least see once, even though I think it came out like in the early 90s, like 1990. A blank pocket tee, huh? Nope, on the back. One of the coolest graphics I think they've ever done, especially collab-wise. Superhero, Supreme Anti-Hero collaboration. The first time they did it, really one of the best integrations of like two companies' logos I think Supreme has ever, ever done by far. It's a really cool graphic right there. My favorite boxer of all time, one of my favorite people of all time, one of just the guys that I think a lot of people really look up to because he, you know, he, was a, he did what he wanted. He didn't take no bullshit or anything like that. He's a really cool guy. Uh, Muhammad Ali. Andy Warhol portrait right there. Very inspirational tee, very happy to get that one. Supreme on the back. All right, another Black Sabbath tee. Right here we just got the Black Sabbath with like a little Bible opening up on the front, that classic Black Sabbath purple kind of colorway. On the back, Supreme, and that kind of old gothic looking print. We got an old one, but a good one right here. We got this Kung Fu tee. This is, I'm pretty sure this is from 2012. This is really when I started kind of doing videos and collecting Supreme a lot more. Really cool kind of kung fu graphic, reminds me of like something Wu-Tang would wear or something like that. Supreme on the bottom, and you just kind of got this, it looks like an old like kung fu like movie poster. Here the tee I reference a lot as being like my favorite shirt of like all time from Supreme or that I own at least. No apologies, cop car burning. Very punk rocky, very uh, old. I think this is from 2009. This was in my favorite items video. And here we go, my go-to Halloween t-shirt. We got Chucky in that airbrush kind of little font. I forget the artist that did this actually, King King Fad or something like that, looks like down there, I forgot who did this, but this is kind of like a collaboration. He, they came out with like a car one too, and they came out with Chucky with the Supreme little bucket hat on. I think it's a pretty cool shirt. Really only wear this on Halloween, perfect for Halloween. Home Digger Son, collab, collaboration with Supreme. Uh, they also did the Vans, but this is the photo that's all over the Vans. Harold Hunter, of course. On the back, on the bottom, you got a Supreme Box logo and then Comb Digger Sons right there. Really cool shirt to own right there. Must be another back graphic tee. Supreme right there. It's probably one of my most favorite back graphic tees, I guess you can say if that's a thing. Rough Riders logo, real classic New York right there, DMX and all that. Stop. Stop. And like a, a long sleeve actually, the only long sleeve I think I own from Supreme. A really good one too, there's a lot going on with this shirt. HR uh, Geiger t-shirt right here. It's like a gun with a little like alien bullets in it. Down the side, you have those alien bullet kind of things on both sides. And then on the back, the big graphic of it. Really cool, I really like this artist a lot. And then on the bottom, 
Supreme. That's a guy that did everything for like the Alien movies and stuff like that. And the hardware tee from this season. I uh, posted a picture of this recently on my Instagram. Real cool. It's actually a painting and not a photo. It looks. I like how it looks. Real like 70s, you know, like late 60s New York. Really cool graphic right there. Supreme red box logo on the back. Another one from this season, uh, the swimmer's tee. I really like that this is like kind of like a vintage, old, kind of like magazine, kind of ad looking um, um, Supreme graphic. This is like a stock graphic, I think, or something. And they just kind of put Supreme down in bathing suits, which is cool, whatever. Still a cool graphic right there. It doesn't have to be original. Another one from this season, I really like this color. I really like this graphic. I like how it says Supreme right there. Real cool different tee, and that is actually not black. And another one from the season, not the craziest tea, Supreme Spitfire. The teas I feel like could have been way better. Just the Spitfire Swirl with Supreme box look in the middle. And then Spitfire Swirl with Supreme right there on the bottom right side. All right, then a highly popular graphic right here, Shun Cliver graphic. This was the, the Candy Rush, Candy Rush, Sugar Rush, I forgot, Candy Rush, Sugar Rush, I don't know. But uh, also had this in the deck, Shun Cliver, of course, classic 90s artist, still doing stuff today for Paisley and all that, his company. Post this on Instagram recently. Everyone always loves the shirt. I always get compliments on the shirt too. It is really cool. I like the whole 90s skateboard graphics. Anything they, Supreme needs to do more stuff like that. That'd be crazy. Supreme down the whole front of the shirt in blue on the back. Thrasher Magazine, of course, the Supreme Thrasher Magazine collaboration. Like the only, I think, photo tee I actually still have. I don't, I don't know, I just really haven't been thinking about photo tees recently, but Shane McGowan, of course, this is from a 2012, 2013 old one. Photo on the front, I forgot I had this, man. Boys from the County Hell on the back. Another uh, Supreme Thrasher collaboration, just like the second one, Supreme down the sides. Oh, this is the second collaboration. And on the back, skating the story all over, and then the famous Thrasher graphic, why can't my boyfriend, or oh God, why can't my boyfriend skate? Thrasher has that like an all their own like merchandise. From the Mike Hill collaboration, this of course is, was this the Regretter one with the pencil? Got the graphic down the side, and uh, yeah, of course. And I regret everything on the back. My favorite Mike Hill graphic with the, the frog and the brain, and then on the back, it's about like kind of Supreme and like a brain kind of graphic, Supreme. Probably my favorite Supreme back graphic since I'm making that thing t-shirt I own, Supreme in the front, and then the Joan of Arc graphic in the back, just pretty much copy and pasted from, you know, the internet, but still nonetheless cool that Supreme did it. Supreme on the bottom of the graphic, real cool. Like I said, I love Renaissance art, anything like that. The Supreme Ant, or Supreme, yeah, Supreme Anti Hero first collaboration, the Pope, the Eagle box logo, Slayer concert in the front. Yeah, I got this one like in like a little burgundy colorway, a little different from the black. I think this was from um, last season. I don't think it was from this, I think it was from Fall Winter 2017. Supreme, no, this was from this season, I think. I don't, I don't remember, but Supreme, a little S. Bling that little logo right there, like those things you used to like write in high school, little S's. Earlier in last season, the Public Enemy collaboration, of course, Public Enemy on the front. Blow Your Mind, real cool graphic on the back. This is also a collaboration with Undercover. A lot of shit came out with this collaboration. Other shirt from the Undercover Public Enemy Supreme collaboration. This is definitely my favorite. And then on the back, it just says Undercover Supreme. This is another one of my favorite shirts. This, of course, is Prodigy from Mob Deep. Probably like my second, third favorite kind of like rap artist group. Um, Wu-Tang, Nas, Mob Deep, I would say it's around there. Project, of course, passed away right here. We got him with his Hennessy jersey that Supreme has remade, and that was from the Shook Ones video. He wore that. I think it was misspelled in the Shook Ones video or something. I forget. Yeah, cool to have this one right here. Real cool. Oh, my God. A non-black tee. Oh, okay, this is, of course, from the Wizards of Oz. Definitely a classic tee. Um, I think this was 2012, 2013, real old, but yeah, definitely such a cool graphic. And then you got Supreme Box logo right there. Another white tee, probably the only other one I own, real old, 29, 2009, 2008, No Gods, No Masters. Really cool shirt right there, cool slogan. From this MC Escher collab, you got this shirt that's non-black with his uh, sketches from different designs all over the shirt, pretty much all over print. I think the best one, of course, is on the back. And then you have Supreme Box logo below it. Another uh, MC Escher collab shirt, spheres on the front and on the sides. You got some other graphics and on this one, this is what he was kind of famous for these right there. And yeah, cool shirt, nothing on the back though. I like the color a lot. I really like this shirt too. You know, people really don't talk about this one. It's kind of like this floral symmetric shirt. You get Supreme and this kind of like abstract looking like Rorschach paint or Rorschach kind of design things on the front. And on the back, again, kind of like a little floral print. Rorschach, Rorschach, right? From that, the guy from Watchmen. It's like those kind of things. 
That's a real cool shirt, kind of slept on. Of course, right here, Daniel Johnston graphic. I think this might have been 2015 or something like that. Real big graphic to cover, cover the whole shirt. A little like duck looking thing, or, like four, four heads. I don't know, always cool, a little, little sketchy art. Supreme with the monk that lit himself on fire. Very, um, people stare at that shirt a lot, a little bit. Cool shirt to have. Definitely one of the few box logo-ish kind of t-shirts I have. Supreme Undercover, the first shirt. I actually think I bought this resale because I failed on the first drop. And I think resale, when I bought it, was like maybe 150. I think they're like worth like easily 400 now. It's kind of crazy, but I still like this one too much to sell. I mean, that's a lot for a shirt, you know, to keep. Spray and box logo, which from uh, The Wizard of Oz, real cool, nothing on the back. This was the first tee from this season, first tee drop. Little nice kind of like water painting kind of shirt like that. I always like the ones with art like that. And on the back, I thought this was, was kind of cool. At first I wasn't sure about if I liked the dates, but February 15th, July 29th, 2018, 274 Lafayette Street. So you kind of remember what collection that was from. Another old music collab, The Misfits, classic. You know, like if you skateboard, everyone, you know, listens to The Misfits if you skateboard at one point in your life. Everyone through, everyone went through the punk phase. Misfits is still timeless, classic. It's a Misfits logo. And then the Supreme Box right there. Another Mike Hill collaboration t-shirt. You got the, the bunny guy running. And one on the back, Mike Hill's autograph, Supreme below it. And a random shirt. Um, I'm gonna, I might show all my shirts since I'm kind of going through these kind of quick. This is a... Call Me 917, Alex Olson's uh, t-shirt company, if you don't know, he's a writer for Supreme, he started his own clothing company, skateboard company, and this is, uh, of course, Aiden Mackey's shirt. I think it's a pretty cool shirt. New York Grand National Champions, Mackey, it looks like a vintage like football shirt. A lot of people like this shirt when I wear it. Oh, I like a lot of these shirts, but this is another one shirt that I just go to, always throw on. I don't know, I always just pick this one. I got so many shirts, but I always kind of pick this one to wear. The trip reset, weird, kind of trippy design, you know, pun intended, I guess, and this is Supreme in the back. I forget the artist that did this. I think someone commented in a past video who did it, but if you know the artist that did that, comment below. It's really like the strangeness of this shirt. And then a black t-shirt. Oh no, on the back, uh, this is the Mendini gun shirt. Super cool graphic, I really like his art. I also have the ashtray of this gun too. Another artistic kind of art shirt. Anything that has like an art print like that, it's kind of old looking, I always usually get because they just look so cool and interesting, you know. Um, this one's Supreme. And I forget we I forget what this is from. There was like a Supreme's copies post about it. See jungle, see jungle, go join your gang. Yeah, support nothing. Everything's a crime. It almost sounds like kind of like a political kind of thing or something like that. But if you know what this is from, comment down below too. I forget what this is from. I'm sure it was on Supreme Copies page. But yeah, really like that one. Cool shirt. All right, and then Andreas Serrano T-shirt right here. We got the. Oh, this is the Virgin Mary. I think his stuff was the. It's mixed between like piss and urine. They took the photos of like religious stuff in there is the crucifix. I think the lighting on this one looks really cool. This one looks real dark too. I'm sorry if you're religious or anything like that on the back. On both the back to teach on both those shirts was uh, Andreas Serrano, Supreme Box logo below it. Here we got the Dash Snow t-shirt. Of course is the New York Post, right? Or oh, no, Daily News saying uh, Bush gives okay to kill Saddam Hussein. Really like retro, kind of cool looking shirt, grungy. You yeah, had some sprinkles and semen right there, real cool. Their Supreme black t-shirt. I really like this one. I forget what this is called. Oh yeah, the Cold World t-shirt. Yeah, a little, kind of looks like, you know, like an old album cover or something like that. Supreme Bling box logo, one of the few boxes that came out and people were like, this is not a real box logo, so Supreme box logo or whatever you want to call it. And we're getting, since we're kind of, I'm kind of went through them pretty quick, I feel like we're making good time. I'll show some of my other t-shirts. This of course is from, well, from Cypher. I'll just show these real quick. I don't want to toot my own horn. This is from our first collection, the Bold Cold graphic. This one sold really well. I'm just going to show them. I'm not going to go too in depth with them. Of course, the classic, classic Cypher logo. Cypher horn logo. The quiet interlude graphic. I really like that one. The arrest tee. This is probably my other second favorite one. And then from our second drop, we have the combat tee. It's a cool one too. We have the dragon battle t-shirt for all you retro gamers out there. Real cool graphic. And I think you know, put a little skateboard in there too, you know. And then the tax T, this one sold out really quick. Cypher tax right there, real cool. That one really pops. And some dime stuff, dime, doom, classic. This is such a good logo. I was so, I was so like psyched when they did this one. Definitely after the old doom game. And then a dime all timers collaboration, all timers and dime, two funny, you know, carefree companies, just, you know, having fun. So you definitely gotta support them. That's a cool shirt there. In not black either. Had some more Supreme ones hidden uh, from the Akira collaboration. Yeah, that one, Akira shirt right there. And I think those are all my Supreme shirts, so you might, if you're not into any more Supreme stuff, you might want to click off. But here we got the fucked uh, Goodfellas shirt. 
amazing shirt. I'm so happy I got this before they sold out. My favorite movie of all time. Came out when I was born and I watched it like at least 30 times. Metropolitan Skateboard Company, kind of supported by uh, Gino Iannucci and uh, Huff is kind of rebooting it. So I definitely had to support them. Another all-timers t-shirt. This of course is off the old, this is like an old looking uh, Alien Workshop graphic. I just think it's it, it was hilarious and I just fucking love Alien Workshop. So I had, had to get that Alien or all-timers t-shirt. Uh, another Call Me 917 shirt. It has a little turtle and a tire right here. And on the back, I like how this is kind of like, it looks like a, like a shops like t-shirts or something in manhattan's car wash and oil change 917 of course right there call me 917 speaking of alien workshop and a couple shirts alien workshop classic 90s looking tee right here just kind of my some of my skateboard you know favorite kind of company t-shirts baker alien workshop again and they got kind of like the sister company of fucking awesome hockey right there this is the first shirt they released also came out with this one this is of course is um henry running away from the cars in the beginning of goodfellas just some random tees now this is of course the misfits Graphic over John F. Kennedy. This is a uh, surf shirt. I got this in New York. Labor, the best skate shop in New York. This is from a. This is the Nas tee that you had to buy off his website when the album released. On the back, of course, is the Nasir album. Real cool graphic right there. And I and I got this uh, same from the St. Pablo tour. Went and saw Kanye West like last year and or 2016. It was okay. He made us wait a long time before he started, but St. Pablo t-shirt right there. You guys can see too. I'm having these old plastic ones. I ran out of wooden hangers. I have so many shirts. Photo T from Fucking Awesome of Gino Iannucci. If you don't know, he's my favorite skateboarder of all time, so definitely had to get the Fucking Awesome shirt of his. Another classic skateboard company, Birdhouse. I like these 90s skateboard companies, so I always kind of like support, grab one t-shirt, you know. Of a company I usually don't wear that much or buy anymore, Palace. I just don't know, it seems like there's, it's just everywhere now. It seems like it's, it's a little played out for me. It's not as special as it once was. Palace on the front, Triferg on the back, real cool. This is like when they had their UK shop, so it was a long time ago. The Triferg on the front, Palace. Then on the back, you got, got this little tropical scene right there. I really like Palace, you know, I kind of forgot about these t-shirts, but I don't know, it's changed so much to me now, I don't know. Palace, no, I forgot whose board graphic this was. This was like someone's board graphic, I forget. Maybe Brady, I don't know. But uh, red, white, blue, Palace Triferg. And a New York company, Quarter Snacks. This is kind of like their, their Jeezy the Snowman, is kind of like their graphic. This is the Galaxy one. And another Quarter Snacks t-shirt on the back. Still with that little Jeezy Snowman vibe right there. And another cool skateboard company, someone that doesn't take themselves serious at all. Really cool videos, Dime, classic t-shirt right there out of Canada. Well, this is my favorite pal shirt I own, another Trifer with the Running Tings guy. That one's real cool with the colors and it's the guy in the middle. Probably my favorite Palace t-shirt. And some more random skateboard kind of company ones. Labor, of course, best shop in New York. Skate shop right there, Labor. It's another Quarter Snacks one, of course. We got Dave's New York. It's like a workwear company in um, New York. Workwear store. And then on the back, they got the Jeezy Snowman looking Quarter Snacks logo right there. Another uh, Labor shirt right here, Lucky Labor Bus. I like this one. I like the ones that look like they're actually like company t-shirts. Lucky Labor Bus, L-E-S. Doom Slayers, this little baseball looking tee. There, classic logo. Hotel Blue NYC, another skate company out of uh, New York. Real cool edits they got going on. I like their music they use with it. Kind of like old 3-6 Mafia sounding stuff. Throwback tees, shorties, of course. Looks like shorties hardware. Back in the day, everyone had. Shorties skateboards back in the day was super cool. Got a little OG graphic right there. And another shorties graphic t-shirt. Just some, some throwback. A little fancier t-shirt. I got this in uh, New York at Dover Street Market. The Play, Comme des Garçons t-shirt. Fits real nice, you know, but it is a little expensive. Alzheimer's t-shirt. Another one of my favorite companies, Alzheimer's and Dimes. I just love their sense of humor and not taking anything serious. And another course snack shirt. 25 cents right there. And on the back, kind of a little like vintage retro looking vibe right there. Got the little cookie snowman jeezy guy right there some lady all right guys and those are all my t-shirts pretty much a whole collection i even showed you like supreme palace skateboard companies skate shops come take a sun shirt that was pretty much everything um so i hope you guys enjoyed the video that was a lot of work that's like 80 plus t-shirts to grab them all out here but i really i know a lot of you guys wanted to see that video so i did it and i'm, I'm glad to do it i hope you guys appreciate it i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, a lot of t-shirts from 2013 to 2018, so you guys got to see some old graphics. Maybe hope you enjoyed it, like I said. Um, Supreme, if you're new to the channel, pretty much I've just posted a lot of Supreme pickup videos, Supreme review videos, collection videos. So with Supreme coming back from this for this fall winter season, I'm doing pickup videos again, showing just you know what I buy each week. I'll re I review the collabs when they do collabs each week, show them off, kind of review it. Um, the next video coming up probably will be Monday when they release their lookbook and preview. You can see everything in Supreme is 90%, 95% what they're going to release this year. 
and I'll just kind of like pick out my favorite things and like show you guys what I think of the lookbook. So stay tuned for that video Monday. It's when they drop it. You want to follow me on Instagram, you know, for more stuff like that, up to date information. I sell stuff in my story sometimes. Mike.Kilroy. And like I said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in Monday or Tuesday video. So thanks, guys, for watching as always, and I appreciate it.